non-teaching staff from Garissa University who have been working at the Moy University campus following the April 4th terror attack at Garissa University have vowed to defy orders prompting them to go back to Garissa University. We are here to state categorically that we are not ready to go back to work in Garissa University College. The group of over 30 issued a joint statement defying a letter by Professor Ahmed Warfam, the principal of Garissa University College. The students who were under attack heard them say that they were being attacked because of religious reasons. Now we are not ready to go back because insecurity has not been addressed by the government and secondly, we have not changed our faith. In a letter dated the 25th of this month, the principal Garissa campus states that all administrative and support staff are required to leave more university main campus with immediate effect and that they are required to have reported to the Garissa campus starting July. The letter further insinuates that teaching staff, mainly lecturers, will assist the students conduct their end of semester exam starting the 6th of July before rejoining their schedules at Garissa campus. But the over 600 Garissa students will not be going back to Garissa. Moi University says they will be distributed to campuses of their choice around the country. The non-teaching staff who are public servants have now been left to battle their own fate. Now they have resorted to the government. We are appealing to the government that we elected. We are appealing to our leaders whom we were elected to stand with us at this moment when there are some elements in the political class from other parts of the country plotting for our going back to Garissa University College. Garissa University College closed temporarily and if any operations are ongoing, well, very little is known. These, as this team of administrative and support staff have vowed not to step in Garissa.